Oh, yeah. That is enormous. Yeah. You know, they, yeah. Go ahead, Adam. That's how everything. much money? How much no, money? I, Do you have any idea of how much money the Packers are paying with his salary and or the Jets? Not officially yet, Dan, but I think we'll see something get done mm. here. Um, they're still working on that as well. Again, the parameters of the trade are agreed to. We'll see about the contract next. But, yes, Aaron Rodgers, I think part of this was he wanted to be a part That's a big of deal. the offseason program. And, obviously, yeah, the Jets want him there. Obviously, he's not going to have a hard time picking up the <coughs> offense, being that Nathaniel Hackett is the offensive coordinator. But he now will be cleared to be a part of the Jets offseason oh. program, which began last week. And he can take part in these drills and get to know his new teammates and familiarize himself with the offense, which he knows very well from having worked in it before. But now the Jets can go forward. And here's the great thing, right? Like both sides said, we can wait. The Packers said, we're happy to squat on Aaron Rodgers if we have to. We don't need to trade him. We're not going to trade him until we get the picks. But the truth of the matter is they want the capital in this draft this weekend. And the Jets have said, well, we'll wait for our quarterback. But the truth is, they wanted their quarterback. And so it was in the interests of both sides to figure out a way to get this done. And the Packers general manager, Brian Gutekunst, and the Jets general manager, Joe Douglas, have spent recent days talking about this, trying to get the deal straightened out to where they finally do. And now the Packers have extra draft capital to surround Jordan Love, and the Jets get their quarterback. A couple of other things, like I mentioned. You talk about the Jets being Super Bowl contenders. I think the NFL is going to think that because last year the Jets played one game, one game on primetime. Mm. This year they are eligible to play up to six primetime games. You think Aaron Rodgers matters? Now, I don't know that it'll come in at six games on primetime for the Jets, but I'll bet you it's going to be at least five, maybe six depending on what the NFL schedule maker says about it. So the relevancy, their importance, how relevant they are in the market, it just went through the roof by them adding another former legendary Packers quarterback. Again, just to reset, and we're going to you, Dan, uh, teams swapping the first-round picks, the Jets and the Packers. The Packers also get second and six-round picks and a 2024 conditional second-round pick that could be a first-round, depending on the playing time of Aaron Rodgers if he plays 65% of the time during this season. Go ahead, Dan. This is a team, the Jets last year, that we all thought were really, really good and had some impressive wins. So they now have added Aaron Rodgers. They're going to get Brees Hall back healthy. And they have the 15th pick of the draft, and they have the 42nd pick of the draft. If they draft well again this year like they did last year, this is a bona fide Super Bowl contender in the AFC and probably as big a threat to the Kansas City Chiefs as the Bengals are. Marcus. I I just, what Dan just said, you can't reiterate enough of what Aaron Rodgers is walking into at his disposal. I think he got a top five wide receiver in the building. He got a young running back that's coming off of an injury that was trending towards being rookie of the year. Don't forget that this team went out and got Uzama last year as well from mm. the Cincinnati Bengals. Like this, this is a this is a this is a team now where you put your where, where you put Aaron Rodgers and insert him. And that is why the offseason was so important right. for these guys to get on the same page and have that ability to build this rapport before they touch the field. Last year we saw that hurt. Green Bay with those young wide receivers. And you telling me now that they going to have a Garrett Wilson is going to have an opportunity to work with Aaron Rodgers and understand the way he wants to throw the football, the type of throws that he's going to make. Aaron Rodgers walking back into familiarity with obviously Nathaniel Hackett calling plays. It's about the players. It's about Aaron Rodgers being there. But in order to be a Super Bowl contender, as we all know, you need to know the 11 you're taking the field with. And the fact that he is going to have that opportunity, that changes everything for the New York Jets.